So you've bought a new computer, and now you're going through the process of installing or reinstalling all of your programs, and you've got Photoshop installed, but now you're trying to figure out how to reinstall or maybe copy your iCorrect plugins from your old computer to your new computer. Well, one simple way, obviously, would be if you can find the original file that you downloaded when you purchased the iCorrect plugin and the serial number, just go follow the installation instructions and repeat what you did the first time. But if you're like a lot of people, including me, you probably didn't make a copy of the file and or you can't find it. And secondly, you probably didn't write the serial number down. You're going to need that serial number uh, to activate the new installation. So to find the serial number, uh, again, we're working on your old computer now. Go up to Photoshop and go to Help, About Plugins, find the specific plugin, in this case Edit Lab Pro, click on it, and there in the splash screen right in the middle you'll find the serial number. Now normally they start with an ICE-0 whatever, and um, but make sure you copy this down exactly the way it is, upper and lower case and the dashes in the right spot. Otherwise, you won't be able to activate it when you install it on a new computer. Now let's uh, go find where this is on the computer. Well, first of all, open the PC and let's go find the uh, C drive. And we're going to go to Program Files. Now, if you had a 64-bit machine before, you'll have two program files, one that says Program Files and the other that says x86. And uh, the newer Macs, uh, C6 and CC, the Mac is, or the, the Photoshop version is only 64 bits. So, but uh, we'll go to the program files and we'll double click. We'll find Adobe, double click on it, and Adobe Photoshop. And now we'll go down to plugins. And uh, there you will see the plugin folders or files. Uh, in this case, I've got Edit Lab, One Click, and Portrait on it. Then I suggest you get a thumb drive, and I've got uh, one here. So the first thing we'll do is just uh, copy these. We're going to copy, and we'll copy them over to the thumb drive. Okay, we have those, and let's just exit out of here, and we'll go on to the next phase. Okay, now we're going to repeat the process in reverse. Here's the removable disk that we created with the um, and three plugins in this case. Now we go back to uh, this PC and go to the C drive and program files again. Adobe and Photoshop and plugins. Uh, we'll select these over here and we'll copy them over here, paste them here. Administrative approval. Okay, so there are three are all there. Now you have to repeat this if you have 32-bit versions of Photoshop on your computer. Now we'll open Photoshop. And let's open an image. And now we'll go up to Filter, pick the color, and there they are. Now, in this particular case, I didn't have to re-enter the serial number since I'm working on the same computer to illustrate this because the serial number is remembered in registry. But uh, first time you use it on a new computer, you will have to enter that serial number. And now you're good to go. And that was easy, wasn't it?